Celebration tacos. We got a boat? We got a boat. Beep, 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 beep. Breaking news. It's happening, folks. We're, we're back. We wish we could share all the details, but we have learned from our mistakes in the past. <laughs> yeah. And we're going to wait till the ink is dry. With this week's video, we're going to share the Wit Sundays with you. There's so much to explore. They call this the 100 Magic Miles, just on the inside of the Great Barrier Reef. We're cruising aboard a Sea Wind 1160. Mm -hmm. And from first blush, I would have said this boat is just too small. Yeah for two couples to enjoy for a week, but this is a great boat. Sea wind, you did it. Yes. Big show today, we're cruising, we're racing, and we're gonna set up Starlink. As cruising sailors who make YouTube videos, this thing is a game changer. But first, we got to catch you up to date. There's been a lot going on behind the scenes. Wallabies. What are the wallabies eating out here? It's pretty dry. Hard to get a photo of them. They're like two-legged deer. Don't they look like they're related to rats, though? Just joking, my friends. It's wonderful waking up to the sounds of birds in the morning, and they come right up to the house. <laughs> After our time in New Zealand, we've been playing catch up. All right, we're navigating our way into Brizzy to pick up some camera gear. Uh, there's the arm isn't long enough, so let's we'll give us another shot. All the you see, this is we work. What? It's a we work building. That's so funny, I've never seen a WeWork That's a good idea. Uh, office space. It's quite a documentary. I have a responsibility to think bigger. I'm a golden goose laying golden eggs. You couldn't do this without me. We're going to war! All right, pretty cool. Pretty cool, downtown Brisbane. Pretty uncool, parking in Brisbane. <laughs> Three hours, 69 Australian dollars, it's like 40 bucks for parking down here for three hours. We were warned that they charge you for every little thing, including a little side thing of sauce. All right, the parking's one thing, but no free sauce. It's time to move on. Truly wild. It is. 4.10 in the morning. We're just getting ready to go. The next leg of the journey, Brisbane. It's been lovely. Just uploading uh, the early release of this week's video to the patrons. Nick was up all night. He got an hour of sleep to get this one done so we can enjoy cruising in the Wit Sundays. We're in the, the Virgin Australia lounge. I had to fly business. It's basically the same price as coach once you factor in the baggage costs. Got an interesting email this morning from a broker in Grenada. It's been on the market for a while. It was overpriced and they've been steadily lowering it as happens when boats don't sell. A few days ago we made I'd say what's a pretty low offer and I think they may have accepted it so we're kind of doing the back and forth with the broker. It's a weird timing. We're gonna possibly head off grid quite a bit the next few days, but may have to arrange a survey and travel to get back to the Caribbean. We're ready to get sailing again. Ready for taking the, the next obvious thing. And right now, that is fully immersing ourselves in the experience ahead of us, which is the Wit Sundays. I'm ready to just to be immersed in the blue. And I think in that scenario, it's all going to become clear. What became clear once we got into cell phone reception again was that the offer we put on the boat in Grenada actually wasn't accepted. In fact, the offer was never even presented to the seller. This is a tactic that some rather questionable brokers use sometimes. 
They'll ask for wiring instructions to get you to put a deposit into their accounts, even though the offer hasn't been presented to the seller. It's a no-go for us, and we walked away from the deal. Finding a boat has been a bit of an obsession, of course, but like Megan was saying, it's important to just soak in to what we're doing right now. And as we approached the airport near Airly Beach, we could see a definite change in the vegetation. A lot more green up here in northeastern Australia. Australia is a giant country, a giant continent, and it's got a diverse set of climates. We left the temperate zone of the Brisbane area for the tropics. This is tropical storm territory. The big ones are called hurricanes in the Atlantic, but in the southwest Pacific, they're known as cyclones. A little warmer. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Can you pet it? That's what you're supposed to do. <laughs> well, thanks for coming and picking Our us up. Pleasure. Our pleasure. Oh my God, so, so sweet. Yeah. Let's get out of the heat, huh? Beautiful. Yeah, I'll probably crash out. We are definitely in sea wind territory. Let's give you a little tour of this 1160. I'm so impressed. Yeah? I really am. It's very livable. What do you like about it? I like this galley for one thing, and I like that two couples can have a lot of space and privacy and plenty of bathroom privacy, the whole thing. And then you have this huge salon that everybody's very comfortable in with the table and and then that wide open cockpit for bean bags and moving around it's it's very livable i was nervous i gotta tell you what were you nervous about i just thought it was too small too small for two people let alone four this is my first time using an mps a multi-purpose spinnaker it's cut a bit flatter on top and that means you can sheet it tighter and use it closer to the wind. A little tough though, when you're sailing deep like we are here. We've got the wind almost directly behind us. Really difficult to keep that chute inflated. Going to a bigger head sail. The charter boat uh, setup has got a kind of a blade jib on a self-tacker. This is a real Genoa. So with these light winds, we're gonna go a little bit faster. A little more efficient. How much wind do we have? We got not much. We got like seven, eight knots, maybe 10 to 12 out here. So it's gonna be some sweet sailing. Now here's something I never really considered. This is a charter boat, but Steve and Ann own it. So when they use the boat, they bring out some gear from their locker. Better sails and a few extra toys. Kind of a cool option. Eventually, the wind all but died on us, which was A-OK -okay with me, still a little behind on the sleep. What do you think of the sea wind? Very cute. I think for near-end stuff, it's a winner. A lot of, a lot of space on them, but of only 38 feet. For the ocean, I want something a little bit bigger. A little higher up. But for this mission, Wit Sundays. The Wit Sundays is perfect. The Wit Sundays are incredible cruising grounds. It's like the San Juan Islands, the Virgin Islands, and the Exumas all in one. And no matter what the wind is doing, you can find a protected anchorage and have it all to yourself. 100 Magic Miles is the only cruising guide you'll need.
Wednesday. Yes. I feel so relaxed and just like being on the water is my happy place. It's crazy how the rest of the dramas melt away. Yeah, and Ann and Steve are so easy and fun to be around and they love it here and they're excited to share it with us and I know what that feels like. It's so fun to be on the other end. This is wonderful. Oh my god. Let's go. Let's go to this. Here we go. You're very gracious. Thank you. You're very modest. This is awesome. Great. Uh, you ready? Snorkel? Uh, Nick, would you like some coffee? That's a silly question. <laughs> That's my best Nick. Okay. That was I was actually thinking the same impersonation. Can you, can you do one? Can you do one? Nick, would you like a coffee? Heck yes! <laughs> Hi, I'm wearing Nick sunglasses. That's good! And I think they're cool. Oh. <laughs> We're just gonna drop the mooring here. We're gonna head to Hamilton Island. Do I speak and that slow? <laughs> yes, you do, Nick. <laughs> on your, Nick on his videos speaks really clearly and slow. <laughs> I couldn't fight back the tears anymore. I had to find my own boat, my own way, and my special pants. They made me feel a lot better. Pretty sure I found us a boat. This one is owned by someone who has cared for it, cared for it, and sailed it. Because he's the original owner. Nah, he's owner number three. Light use before he bought it uh, six years ago, and he's put a lot of cruising gear on it. He's a solo sailor, and he's a he's a cancer survivor and a heart attack survivor, and uh, so he's a realist about this boat and what it needs to be sailed well and sailed safely. And he's just decided that. He's reached uh, the time for new adventures. He's realistic about the price, and um, this is exactly who you want to buy from. You want to buy from somebody who's knowledgeable about their boat, who has realistic expectations. So I'm really excited to see it. Early beach. We have our friends here that brought us out on the Sea Wind 16, uh, Sea Wind 1160, to thank for this. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, we would be back down in Brisbane and. Probably not in a position to see it, so. Wow, thank Thanks, you guys. so much. Too generous. With a boat to see, a very important package arriving, and a Wednesday night race to get to, we headed back towards Airlie Beach. Here we go, let's raise that main. I can text you our uh, Aussie number as well, but this works just as well. We absolutely love being disconnected, but with what we're doing these days, an internet connection is essential. And thanks to Elon Musk and his friends, we've got a whole new world in front of us. Starlink. Starlink. Here we go. Let's set printer up. How long ago did you order it? Three weeks ago. What version is this? Is this the RV? This is the V2. 
Yeah. Anytime the instructions don't have any words on them, that's a good sign, right? Unless something goes wrong. Ideally, what I'd like to see is that you just put 12 volts into something like this and it runs. But I'm going to need to do a lot of modifications to get to that point. It's like one of those Uchimera tiller seats. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is. Are they? There we go. So it rotates and, s and slips into a, a position. And then, so then you have the uh, Starlink app, which is probably hard to pick up in this light. And you hit start setup and you select the type of antenna. Find a location. I have a location. So it's the service that determines whether or not you can move with this thing. Yes, yeah, so I've, I've actually. Um, I've actually changed it from residential to RV, so that means it's not going to be locked to a particular lat long. It's going to be, you know, movable. Okay, SpaceX to Pixel 6 phone and go, connecting, and it's now testing, and we are getting, well, it's still climbing, 150 megabits per second, 160 megabits per second. So in here and where we normally get nothing at all, 167 megabits per second download. Uploading is sitting at 11. So it's 11.4 megabits per second upload and 167 megabits per second download. Wow. Hmm. When I first heard about Starlink, it sounded like science fiction. But our friends are now doing Zoom calls and watching Netflix hundreds of miles offshore can't tell you how big a game changer this is for us. As YouTubers, we can upload from virtually anywhere, which means we can share even more with you. We're definitely putting one on the new boat. Me and my Starling baby. I need one of these for sure. All right, Nick is over on having a second look. I don't know if this is too windy, but I'm just gonna walk over and sit on the grass, wait for him to get finished with this look. So we're right on the precipice. We say goodbye to our guests, our hosts, I should say. <laughs> they were wonderful. Ann and Steve, amazing time with you guys. So now we are right on the edge of our next adventure. And it's pretty exciting. We have no idea if we're getting on a plane to go to Melbourne and see some new friends there, or if we're gonna head to San Diego, see some old friends. Pick up a new boat. Woo! <laughs> Where are we? We're in the Wit Sundays. We're at the Prosser Pine Airport. We're headed to Melbourne. Uh, a tremendous thank you to Steve and Ann for, for inviting us up here. And you guys, by the way, playing an integral part yes. to us finding yes. our dream boat. And, and making this all happen. So It's amazing. So we can't wait to share everything with you. And if you want to get behind the scenes, join Patreon. Yeah, it's going to be a little less formal and we're going to share details of the behind the scenes process mm -hmm. of, of buying this boat. It is not going to be a simple process. There's a lot of hoops to jump through mm -hmm. with this one, but our patience, I think, has paid off. Yeah. We're back, baby. <laughs> Thanks so much for spending your valuable time with us. We really appreciate it. Big adventures ahead as we continue to explore Australia. And for you New Zealand fans, yes, that video is coming. It may be four hours long by the time we're done with it. There's so much to New Zealand and we can't wait to share that with you. It may take a couple few weeks to get it all put together though. Yeah. Thanks for joining us everybody. And thanks as always to our patrons. Without you guys, this doesn't happen. That's right. Take care, everybody. Bye. Bye.